I want to respond to the uh, article yesterday in Peter was Telegraph that we withdrew our legal um, uh, case against Labour voter fraud in Peterborough. I want to explain some of that. Immediately after the, and during the election there were lots of complaints of wrongdoing. Such was the level of concern that Peterborough City Council actually referred some cases to police. We never put any cases to police, they either come from Peterborough Council or from concerned individuals. Uh, we did have a concern that a convicted vote fraudster had been photographed with uh, Lisa Forbes, with Jeremy Corbyn, with Rosette Son at a polling station. And I want to say at a polling station that Peterborough City Council itself declared was at risk and therefore put a police officer at and uh, cameras at to uh, record on CCTV. We've got to remember as well that Peterborough was highlighted by Sir Eric Pickles in a report that highlighted it as one of the most at risk cities in the UK for voter fraud. Now, over a dozen of the polling stations provided CCT evidence to us on demand. Unfortunately, the one that Tariq Mahmood was at, the one where we were told that there were whole bunches of postal votes delivered to, uh, suspiciously, amazingly, that got deleted. Why would that one uh, um, polling station have the information deleted? But mostly, the decision to withdraw, at the time of making the complaint, there was no prospect of a general election. That's looking more and more likely and imminent now. We've also been told that previous cases against Labour, they just throw money at it. Court costs could go four to six hundred thousand pounds. Um, and if there is a general election, uh, it would negate the whole case anyway, uh, and it would, it would make it pointless and fruitless. Um, in addition to which, the fact that some of what could have potentially been our key evidence was deleted uh, makes the, the high hurdle of proof harder to hit. And it is higher in election fraud than in most other areas. Um, I'm going to talk over the next few days uh, about voter fraud and all the different ways that it's done. Please log in each day and have a look at some of the videos we'll create.